It's uh, my pleasure to introduce Shelley Bruce, did I get that right? A poetist and an artist. And we're at the Second Street Loft in and, and Pomona, California, and she's having a terrific show. And I'm going to let her explain it to you and, and uh, enjoy. Hello, thank you so much for um, taking the time to hear about my show. Um, I've been uh, quite involved in downtown Pomona's Arts Colony since 2006, so it's going almost 10 years now, uh, often attending open mic, poetry open mics that they have in the community. And, um, and uh, I began doing poetry, performing poetry mostly there, and painting. So a lot of what I do, I do live event painting at events. So I'll go to open mic or wedding or concert and I'll paint there. So a lot of these paintings here are actually paintings from events. Um, so I've been quite involved and I have a few shows in Pomona and this is my first show at the Loft, the Loft on 2nd with uh, Chara Nicole and Joshua Swodek. So I'm just really grateful to them for having me. Um, so I have just some various works, a couple old pieces, several new ones. Um, and there's kind of my collection of like the style that I'm working in right now. Uh, I paint mostly in acrylics and uh, so it's kind of a, a mixed set of paintings tonight okay. um, but I've also had a series called gratitude so gratitude is a series of art events and pieces that are kind of spurred from my appreciation for like all the people in my life and in my community and so I've done a series of paintings I've done a, uh, I did a one-woman poetry show last November so I had like an hour or so of my poems that kind of told a storyline and I think gratitude has not just become synonymous with acknowledging like all of our like community members and village members who contribute to you and allow you to thrive but it's also become a very spiritual journey for me so I feel like this word gratitude has become synonymous with my personal journey um, and so that's been very much influenced in the work as well and all the things that life takes you through to help you to to learn gratitude and, and really what that means to live in gratitude um, so the performance piece I'm doing tonight is um, kind of just a an experiment just an um, just a demonstration to just just call on all the names so all the names of everyone I've ever met that's what I'm attempting to write tonight. Okay. So um, that's that's what I'm doing. Okay, just a backstory. How did you get involved, and how did what inspired you or brought you into the world of art and poetry? What were um, your inspirations? When I was younger, I was around 13. I just decided, of all the hobbies, I really want to stick to art. And I think my parents really supported me. My dad's also an artist, um, and he kind of in the last years has gone back to his painting. My my mom's a writer. My grandmother's a seamstress. So I think there's creative juices flowing in my family. And um, so I think it encur they encouraged me, and they really encouraged me to pursue that, which is a huge thing, you know, as a young person to, to say, oh, it's okay for you to go to do this. So uh, in high school, I painted a lot, and I started painting professionally when I went to college, and um, I ended up majoring in art. Uh, so that's kind of my background with that. And then also the arts colony here in Pomona, I think, is a wonderful community. I've met so many professional artists, working artists here, and that's really encouraged me to pursue uh, poetry and, and painting and, and all the different things I've been doing. What uh, college did you go to? I went to Cal Poly Pomona, so right up the street. That's kind of what got me over in the parts okay. of Pomona. I'm from LA, but um, I've been in Pomona since 2006 when I started school. Oh, good, good, good. So you graduated in a whole bit, so yeah. you're doing, doing well. Yes, yes, yes. And you're e you're able to semi support yourself on the arts. And Definitely, I, I'm a full time artist. That is that is my profession. You know how rare that is, and how lucky you are, or how gifted you must be. Thank you. To do that, I, I interview a lot of artists, and a lot of them have. They either teach or they have part time mm -hmm. jobs or something mm -hmm. else. Um, it's just just new, so I'm still just getting, pouring into it, but it, it, it definitely just takes self discipline. Yeah, and, and you, yeah. And you do great work. I'm Thank I'm admiring you. it around around here now too. So um, anything you would like to share with somebody, a younger person coming up, yeah. uh, what advice would you give them? Or what life advice did you get from somebody that you remember to this day? Hmm. Well, I think in terms of being a full-time artist, I mean, follow your heart, follow your dreams. You know, that spark that's inside you, that thing that like just won't go away, that feels right, you mm -hmm. know, that is real. And, and there is good in that, and it may be a journey, but yeah. if you stick with it, I think the reason I'm able even to do this full-time at this time is because I stuck with it. Yeah. And over time, I developed clients and friends and supporters, and. Um, you know, 
that that is what you know implies me here today and I just stuck with it and I said this is something I love and I continue to find ways to make it happen and I think we live in a world right now where there's a lot of opportunities even though some people think it's oh it's hard to be an artist I think it's just doing the work you know networking finding different ways to share your art I mean I do workshops I do events I go to colleges you know I do yeah. lots of different things I'm not just only one dimensional and painting them yeah so I think art is a very interdisciplinary yeah. uh, realm and I think it, it's a vehicle for many things. It's a vehicle to teach. It's a vehicle for activism. It's a vehicle for, for growth and community. And so I think um, if you stick to what you love, you know, the world will support you and and follow your dreams. So I think that's that's the advice that's going to be. And that's some great advice from young people, older people. Mm -hmm. uh, all of us need that reminder. All of us need that advice <laughs> and that reminder from time to time. Mm -hmm. You know, in your professions or what you love, love sometimes you need that mm -hmm. pep talk. You know, and, and it's really good to hear you say that. And what I really like is that you're able to just do different things, to expand your business, to incorporate different things that are tied into what you do. Mm -hmm. You mentioned teaching workshops, mm -hmm. uh, clients, marketing, mm -hmm. and I think people think the world's going to come to them. Mm -hmm. But you have to go out and you have to be out there, be active, mm -hmm. let people get to know your name. And it's not easy, mm -hmm. you know, this didn't happen overnight. You, know, mm -hmm. you stuck with it, as you said, and I uh, really appreciate that, mm -hmm. that you're doing that. And uh, like I said, I'm uh, really glad I got a chance to meet you. Now, for, for people who need to um, find you, yes. how do we do that? Uh, well, I am artist Shelly Bruce on all social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr, uh, my email is also artist Shelly Bruce, that's the word artist. Shelly is spelled S-H-E-L-L-E-Y, Bruce, B-R-U-C-E. So one word, artist Shelly Bruce on like all social media, you can find okay. it that way. Okay. And I have YouTube videos, I have, I post a lot of my artwork online, I post a lot of my shows. Um, okay. And, yeah. And I know it's going to come up, so I'm just going to, going to find out why are these wires in her face? <laughs> yeah, this, this is part of the, uh, the piece. So as the night evolves, you know, you'll see what these do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And once again, Shelly, it's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for it. It's an honor to, to have a chance and to share my, my work. Yeah, we will definitely stay in touch. Thank you so much. Take care. See you. Bye.